digital content creation. Honorable Speaker, this is far from truth. In fact, the bill proposes to exclude content, content, content creation that does not, need, does not lead to money generation. The rejection of this bill will make our content creators worse off than they are in the current provisions of the law. The current provision of the Finance Act talks about content creation even when it is not monetized. The bill proposes to delete content creation that is not monetized, and that is a fact of the matter. Yes. So for our content creators, rejection of this bill means that you'll be worse off than we were last year or that you were in the moment. I've watched the debate on sanitary towels and diapers. Honorable Speaker, I grew up during napkin times when children used to be, uh, 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 to, be, to be napped with napkins. And I've seen how diapers has revolutionized and modernized our women. A few years ago, Honorable Speaker, the quality of a good mother and a good wife was known by how well she washed the napkins for her children. They used to soak them at night with jig, with hot water, and tire their hands to wash them white. And when neighbors would pass, they would watch how white they are, and the quality of that wife and mother was based on how white those napkins are. Therefore, where we are in diapers, we have greatly revolutionized and given dignity to our wives and to our mothers. What this bill proposes is to give them more dignity by making them use diapers and sanitary towels that they can be good quality, that are affordable, and we can sustain their safety. Amen. That is why we are saying that let us use our own locally manufactured products. Yes, Honorable Speaker, how much do we hate ourselves as Kenyans that we demonize our capacity to manufacture here locally? Amen. How much do we hate our young people that would rather export these, uh, uh, these jobs to India and China and not have them here in Kenya, Honorable Speaker. We have seen the government allocate resources to ensure we have free sanitary towels for our school-going children. How much do we hate us that we want, do we hate ourselves that we want this money to go to, to India and China and not to our locally manufactured, and not to our local manufacturers here in Kenya, Honorable Speaker. These arguments came last year. And Honorable Speaker, this House make two, made two, just to emphasize, two difficult decisions. One of them was imposing import duty and excise duty on imported uh, furniture. As we speak, Honorable Speaker, that tax and policy.